After a couple of years of dating, Israeli actress Maytel Dohan has called it quits with Al Pacino. Oh. <laughs> really? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Just hold on a second. In a recent interview, uh, she got candid about their almost 40-year age gap, saying it's hard being with an elderly man, <laughs> especially one who is stingy with money. Ooh. Really? Ooh. Really? Are we going to boo her? Are we really? Here's the thing. She's in her 40s. Some reports put her at 40. Some others put her at 43. He is almost 80. Wow. He's 70. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a different opinion now? <laughs> I'm just saying, I appreciate, because there are a lot of these relationships where the man is older and the woman is younger, and they talk about how they're drawn together, not by age, but by the soul. And I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not buying it. I'm not buying it. <laughs> and I don't think she was anybody... in it, what, for the money, for the whatever, whatever? I yeah. think that there, if you look at what Al Pacino is able to offer now to a 40-year-old woman, part of it is the cachet, right? Yeah. There's a trade-off. So if she is upfront about like, yeah, I was dating him because of the name, why else would I, this beautiful woman in her 40s, be spending time with, I will admit it, and I think that I, I appreciate it. I'm like, yes, at least she's honest about it, and let's not pretend. Let's not pretend it's something it's not. Yeah. Here's the other part of that, you know, at some point, and I'm thinking, you know, it's the younger person, if, you know, things take their course, she's gonna have to be a caregiver. Or the person that's younger is gonna have to be a caregiver. And so if there is a partnership at all, maybe it is love, Lane. Maybe it is, right? If there is anything like that at all, at some point it's, I don't have my partner, I have somebody that I'm now caring for. Mm. And that's a whole other thing. That's, you know, that's something that I, mean, I that think That could about. happen regardless. It's just you up the chances when you start dating somebody at 80. At 80. Um, Maria on Facebook agrees with you. She was hoping to be showered with gifts. The age difference would have been fine if she got what she wanted. That's Maria's opinion on it, that she was looking for something. Yeah. So she's just, I mean, maybe, I, I, again, I don't know, maybe it's my age right now, but I, I the question We're is- We're around her age. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But like, so, so, uh, like, Putting it back on us and outside of this scenario, I might be the only person. I find frugality kind of hot and sexy. Oh, really? <laughs> Wait, just go with me for a second. From a millionaire? Okay, no, from not a from a millionaire. Okay, fine. Okay. This guy has an excess of cash. I'm not talking about that. I can't imagine that. I don't yeah. know anyone like from that. From a regular I'm dude. Regular yeah. people. I think frugality is hot from regular people. And it's okay. You can boo me. Go right ahead. I, for me, as I've gotten older, I think we've been sold this idea of romance where uh, you know, a man traditionally is supposed to shower us with lavish gifts. And, and I've seen some people where I'm just like, they drive fancy cars and they seem to always have like fancy clothes. And I'm like, who are you and how do you make your money? And the thing is, is a lot of times, not all, but a lot of times what you'll, what you'll find out is those people actually don't have a lot of cash. A lot of times they're in serious debt. So for me, I, Jason, I think is on the side of frugality. He's not excessive or he chooses where he, he chooses to be excessive. But here's the difference. And he's young and he's hot. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The difference yeah. is, yeah. it's hot. Frugality? Sure. That's hot when you also look like Jason. Yeah. Um, and, and no offense to Al Pacino, yeah. but he's probably past his prime. No CGI is fixing that anymore yeah. in real life. Oh, they tried. They the tried Irishman it and it and didn't, didn't work. work. Um, and so I think that it depends. I love where you're going and I love that you always try to look for the silver lining. There ain't one in this case. There just isn't one in this case. And I, and I also think that... Um, you know, the, I, I actually love her honesty. I find it very refreshing. I think it's interesting that she is an actress from Israel. She, I don't think, as far as I know, that she's actively living or working in the United States. Because that's why I think that some, like, she, I don't know that she could be that honest if she was relying on the same people who are giving her boyfriend jobs to give her jobs. She's throwing shade. Because she's kind like, of throwing shade. that's, sh yeah. Like, you're but cheap? I love the honesty. Is she? Yeah, she's is she? Cheap. Cheap. What's shady about it? It's factual. He's old. He's <laughs> old. I like, want to get to Linda. I want to get to Linda on Instagram. But Linda says this. I love this story. Linda, thank you for writing in. I dated a well-to-do lawyer for over a year. He had no dependents and family wealth. He asked what I would like for my birthday, and I said, a framed mirror for over my couch. He gave me exactly... <laughs> $137.46 and said Home Depot had one I would probably like. <laughs> and then she says, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Ow. 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 Yeah, that's a little underhanded. Wow. 
out. When he's counting yeah. out the 100. Yeah, that's oh no. Oh, my no, God. No, no, Toonie needed to be involved in that yeah. one. When you're yeah. counting out the Toonie, yeah, bye-bye, yeah. indeed. Bye-bye. That's, that's, that's not for right. sure, Linda.